What's the craziest crime you or somebody in your family has committed? My granddad accidentally shot his brother in the ass. He meant to shoot something out of his hand. But missed. Drunk. Genius. Hillbilly shit. Thankfully my dad married well. And I turned out alright. My uncle went to prison for chaining a cop to the back of his bike and driving down the highway. My uncle was a small drug lord in Northern California in the 90s. He had a compound out in gold country. Had to drive through three gates with guards to get to his house. I like never questioned it as a kid. Just enjoyed heading up so I could fish in the stocked bass pond, which also had snapping turtles, as a line of defense. He'd take me out shopping at the mall with a film canister full of coke that he'd take hits off of occasionally. Shadowed by some bodyguards. One time we were out for a ride in his Corvette going well over a hundred and got tagged by highway patrol. He talked his way out of the ticket, told the officer he was showing off for his nephew and got carried away the officer thought it was hilarious. And told me it was lucky since he had a ton of illegal guns and drugs in the trunk and would have made a run for it. He got arrested when I was 15. It was a full-blown, feds descended upon the compound in helicopters and swung through the windows with flashbangs. The whole nine. He was arrested. And since if he snitched on anyone above him he was. Very bluntly. A dead man. He took the rap. Was extradited to Lee in VA to serve a bit over 10 years. All he asked for while he was there was protein powder. He got prison ripped. And apparently beat someone near to death with a sock full of quarters for cutting in front of him at the payphone. At some point in my life all four of my uncles on both sides, plus my dad, have spent time in prison for drug-related offenses. But this particular uncle takes the cake. My uncle sold Tim Allen the cocaine that got him sent to prison in the late 70A Euro trademark S. My grandfather's cousin stabbed a waiter to death because he wouldn't let him use the employee's only restroom in his restaurant. This was a couple of generations back, early 20th century, but there was this guy who was constantly getting drunk and harassing my great aunt. So, one of her male friends dressed up in an Easter bunny outfit. Put a bat in its giant fake carrot and beat the dude with it. He got away with it but I'm sure it helped that half the community was waiting for the day the guy's liver finally gave out. Uh, edit, okay. One small clarification, the bat in question was a baseball bat. Not the flying mammal, though that's certainly an interesting visual and I can't say I'm sorry for my small role in creating that image. My mom's father was a Vietnam vet. He married my grandma he met while in Germany. Adopted her oldest son and they had three daughters. He physically, emotionally, and sexually abused all of them. When they were toddlers. He'd wake them up at 5 a.m. for PT, like basic training for adults. When they walked into a room he was in. He'd throw knives at them to check their reflexes. When my aunt graduated high school. She moved out and he lost his mind. He kept trying to convince her to move back in. And actually convinced her to come home to talk about it. That day she was sitting on the couch and told him she would never come back. So. He pulled a gun shot her three times, once in the hand as she was trying to block her heart once in the stomach as she stood up and once in the ass as she turned to run. Then he walked to his back bedroom. And shot himself twice. Once in the heart and once in the head. I wasn't alive but I read the newspaper article and it was horrible. Side note. My family is really messed up BC my grandma would take us grandkids to his grave site and tell us what a great man he was. Edit, my aunt survived. Sorry y'all. My dad, when he was much younger and infinitely more stupid, regularly used to drink drive with his friends. It was the early 70s. And no one really cared. To hear him speak about it now. He can't believe how stupid he was. One night. He and his friend were out drinking. They heard there was a party going on at a pub across town and decided to head over. On the way they go past a large club with a queue of people waiting to go in. My dad decides to show off a bit and pull a skid. He miscalculated. Hit a curb and flipped the car. Sliding down the road on his roof. The car stops. They get out and leg it. To the cheers of the people in the queue. They get the bus back home and immediately call the police to report the car as stolen. The police knew what had happened. But couldn't prove anything. 
My aunt came home one evening to find that her son had broken in. Killed her dog and was eating it. And then tried to kill her. He was a hardcore addict and it fried his brain badly. Edit, wow. Came home from shopping and this blew up. Okay. So to answer some questions slash give context. Asterisk I don't know what he was on at the time. But he was addicted to a myriad of drugs and meth was his drug of choice. Asterisk it happened a few years ago. And I don't know the side of the family that well. Asterisk he was arrested. And I believe has recently been released. Asterisk and for those of you asking about the state of the dog, it was raw. Think zombie. And thanks to everyone for the awards. My husband's dad killed the guy who his then girlfriend was cheating on him with. He was supposed to serve a life term but got out because of a clerical error. He did manual labor on a local park and apparently the guys who helped were supposed to get a reduced sentence. However he was not supposed to. I think, my husband talked about it once. Also. My husband's half-brother. Same murderous dad. Killed his business partner. He would have gotten away with it however. He moved the body when he found out construction was going to start in that spot. And what were they going to build there? A prison. He's currently serving a life sentence. My husband has never met his half-brother. He also has two half-sisters from the same dad who are law-abiding citizens. I was offered a glass of 25 years aged old par and I mixed it with some Pepsi. The look of horror on my buddy's faces is still engraved in my memory more than 20 years later. I worked at a movie theater when Back to the Future was originally released. We used to take the entire movie ticket instead of tearing them and resell them to the next group coming in. The old theater was massive. Sat 600 people. We probably made about $15,000 between two of us in month or so. Adjusted for inflation. It's about $37,000. We were the richest high school kids in our town. My dad told me he once snuck into a tire warehouse. He cut the alarm and came in through a window on the roof. And stole a bunch of tires. A great grandparent. Years ago during an occupation. Was being approached repeatedly for sex by a soldier slash guard assigned to her village. One day she lured him into her home. Stabbed him repeatedly and threw him down a well. The entire family knew and no one drank from that well ever again. Edit. Updates. Okay. Called my mom to get more info. This is like a great 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 versus just a great grandparent. Also confirmed that her and her parents and grandparents never used the well so that a euro trademark s about like 200 plus years of no well use. Location is Eastern Europe. On a personal note I a euro trademark ve never got this many upvotes. I brag to my wife and she says a euros like most achievements of men. All the heavy lifting in this story was done by a woman a euro t. Cousin got busted robbing a bank. Got sentenced to jail. Proceeded to break out of jail with his cellmate and went on the run. Fast forward a few months and he's living in a hotel room with his cellmate. Cellmate orders a pizza to the room, bad idea. Delivery guy recognized them and reported them to the police. They get arrested again and shortly after my cousin killed himself in prison. My cousin had a wife and a kid and got into a nasty coke habit. We don't bring him up anymore. My great uncle stole a train station. Like an actual train station. Edit. Bonus crime, he broke into a local police station to steal his own, paper, criminal record. Didn't destroy or steal any of the others. Just his own. Great uncle was a mobster in New York in the 40s 50s. He committed numerous crimes. Murder. Theft. Etc. He disappeared one day though. So no worry about the FBI coming to bug me about it edit gonna add this and a comment i added further down i am not proud of this fact of my family i think it's a disgusting part of my family history but too many italian americans with nowhere to turn during that time and plenty of discrimination against the wops ended up with a lot of them being involved in some capacity or another with that kind of shit i feel bad but since i never knew the guy it's not a thing i connect with personally straight face and hashtag x200b. Edit 2, correction to typo of a slur used against Italians. A distant cousin got her terminally ill father to give her power of attorney and then stole all of his money so she wouldn't have to split it with her brother. 
Asterisk edit, don't worry. She did go to jail as her rush to clean him out involved a lot of fraud and forgery. Thanks for watching.